Guys, welcome back to Cryptek Mining. Today I'm going to show you how to differentiate and identify each card on your GPU rig. As you can see, all my cards are identical, okay? So if something goes wrong with them, I can't obviously tell which one's which. All right, so there's a few ways that you can do this. And the most easiest way is, is to crank your fan speeds up, okay? By one card at a time, okay? So if you know which card in the device, say, let's just say MB Miner, it's device number six, okay? And you went to your MSI Afterburner, or you went into your Rave OS or Hive OS and you went to that device and you crank that fan up, you'll be able to tell which card it is, okay? Now, sometimes cards don't really run too loud or, you know, the fans might be pretty quiet, so it might be beneficial sometimes to just, just give it a little touch, see which one is moving quicker than the others, and that's how you're gonna identify the card. Now, there's a second way of doing this as well. So the other way of doing it is, if you're using Claymore Miner, it doesn't matter if you're on Rave OS, Hive OS, or Windows, what happens is, is that with Claymore Miner, as long as you're in the console itself, if you hit, say, this is GP0, 1, 2, 3, if you hit 0 and 3, for instance, those two cards will actually shut off after about a minute. Okay, so that's another way. So obviously, that won't turn them off completely, but they will stop mining, all right? So obviously, if all the other fans are running really high because you've got high ambient temperature around, you know, at your location, that's a one way to bring, it's, it's another way. So it's the opposite direction. So instead of raising the fan speed, you're turning it off. So you're gonna turn the card off and that way that you'll be able to tell which card is you know, moving fast or not. All right, so that's the best two ways to do it. Now there's another way of doing this as well, which I do not recommend, but obviously use this as a last resort. Okay, so with your miner, okay, so let's, say, let's just say MB miner, Claymore, anything like that. Now, if you were to, say, disconnect this card, what's going to happen? The, the miner's going to show you that that card has been disconnected. Okay, so what you don't want to do, obviously, you don't want to touch your power cables. You don't want to do anything like that. But if you have enough room and your card isn't taking up too much space, what you really want to do is you want to remove just the USB cable from the GPU riser. Okay, so doing that, you'll see that in the software itself that it will actually not register anymore and be off. Okay, and you can do this for each card up until you can identify which card is which. Okay, so obviously I've got 16 cards here. Obviously I can get to every single one of these cards if need be. And same on my rig as well. Now, the next thing I really need to tell you guys is that when you're doing this, so even if, if you're ramping up a fan and you're like, oh, that's not the right card, label it. Put something on there so you know which card that is in the future. So that way if you have problems in the future, you can change it. You can fix it, you can pull it out, you can do what you need to do, okay? So I personally use lead pencil, like on my 3080 rig here. I've got pencil on this bar here, just labeling which card is which on this rig, okay? So it's as easy as that, then that way next time something happens, I can identify what's happened with the card, okay? Now guys, also I did do a thermal paste video on this card here. It is working a lot better with just doing thermal paste. I have ordered the thermal pads. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll put it up at the top now. So. Check that video out, all right? And what we're gonna do is, I've ordered the thermal pads and they're on their way. So when that comes in, we'll do a full benchmark on that card. We'll see if we can get the card run cool and I'll show you guys how to stop thermal, thermal throttling. And in the future, if one of these cards, it happens to one of these cards, also change possibly a memory chip as well. Okay, so nothing's impossible. All right, so we'll move forward with that anyway. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have anything you'd like to add to it or if you think I've missed anything, add a comment in below and I'll sure get to your comments when I can. Um, yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video.